everyone has a bad habit that they're trying to get rid of. But most people, instead of trying to get rid of one bad habit at a time, try to get rid of all of their bad habits at the same time. Like, whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. Yeah, and that usually ends up exploding in their faces, like... So for the next week, I'm gonna pick one bad habit and work on cutting it out of my life. As a chaser, cooking isn't something that I do often because I'm always on the road and I don't always know which city I'm gonna be in on any given day. But for the next week, I'm going to commit to putting time aside to prepare my meals so that I don't make bad choices. So according to the USDA food plan, the most liberal women spend around $75 a week on food. That's about $325 a month. I blow those women out of the water. I eat out probably twice a day. So with lunch around $15 and dinner around $25, that's about $200 a week, and that doesn't even include when I get a drink at dinner. Yeah. Find the root of your bad habit and have a support system for helping you navigate a way to get it out of your life. So I enlisted the help of Dr. Jeffrey Gardier to do just that. Recognition is the key. If you don't know that you're doing something that's not healthy, you're going to keep on doing it. Resolution? Check. Solution? Well, I would say the best way to get rid of any bad habit, first of all, you actually recognized it, so that's really good. But secondly, how do you get rid of that habit? Right. I think the easiest thing is to replace it with a better habit. If you want to follow me along my journey, just head over to my IG stories I'll be posting all day long, and then tune in at night to see what Dr. Gardier thinks of my progress. Hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll have one less bad habit.